I'd like to start by thanking the executive committee from the board, um, and I'm just going to name different groups and have them stand up, and we can recognize them with our applause at the end. Let's start with the current executive committee from the board. If you could rise, please, and let everybody know who you are. Great. Next up is the uh, board, the, the, our board members. Go ahead and stay standing, and we'll applaud for you. And now, um, and I'm not sure where we are in the loop. Uh, now, oh, there we are. Okay, and now we've got our Capel campaign, our Reach for the Stars campaign leadership committee. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Um, and I want to get a big round of applause for everybody who's uh, the, the leadership group from the or, for the organization. It's it's really terrific. Um, I've been blessed to have such a to work with such great professionals and have people I've been able to learn a lot from. Now um, I get to introduce Doug Armstrong. Our CEO, and I've introduced Doug before, and I know I stumbled through it because I have a hard time picking out what to tell you about Doug. You know, I, I can tell you about how he, he he's a truck he's driven an eighteen wheeler, how he's a deputy fire chief and an emergency hazmat management guy, and uh, and a, a manager and a leader. But I can tell you what, with a great team he's put together, he's our founder and our leader. And I'm so excited to have him here and to have him as a leader of our team. Doug? Thanks, John. We're here today because of a dream. A dream that children with serious medical challenges deserve an opportunity to experience all the benefits and joys of a traditional summer camp experience. And everyone here has had a role in making that dream a reality and, and getting us to this point. And I wanna thank you all for everything you've contributed as a volunteer, as a board member and, and leader, as a staff person, as a donor, as a camper or a family of a camper. Uh, together, we have gotten to this point. And I need to thank uh, a, a few people personally who have stood behind me through this entire journey, and that's my family, my parents, my wife, my son, my wife's parents, um, my sister. They've never asked me if we're going to be here today and breaking ground and building camp, but they've asked when, how can I help? And that's what many of you have done, and that is really appreciated. And uh, I, I can't, I'm a little overwhelmed and, and trouble uh, expressing the gratitude that, that I feel today. The dream for a camp for disadvantaged children isn't new or unique. In fact, Lewis Ryman, who was a football standout back in the 20s for the University of Michigan, had a dream and started the Fresh Air Camp out on Patterson Lake in Pinckney. And that camp operated until the 1980s. And then unfortunately, the, the property sort of fell into to disuse. Um, while I was working in the transplant center in 1998, uh, I, with another colleague, recognized that our transplant kids didn't have an opportunity to go to camp. And we decided to change that. And we founded and started Camp Michitanki. And last month, we took over 100 transplant kids to camp, and we've been doing that every year for the last 17 years. And that's been a fantastic and, and rewarding program, but it's also pointed out the challenges of the facility that we had access to. And so the dream of building our own camp was, was born. And through the transplant center and support of Dr. Robert Kelch at the Medical Center at the University. Uh, we learned of the property that was for sale at uh, the, what was the old fresh air camp and a developer was gonna put condominiums on the site and that didn't seem to really honor the spirit of what the land had served uh, for many decades. And through Dr. Kelch's leadership, we were able to convince the university not to sell that property and to make it available for for us uh, for camp. So in 2007, we formed a new nonprofit with the hopes of being here today and, and building a new camp. And in 2008, 
We became affiliated with Serious Fun. We had our first board meetings. We started to, to talk about how in the world we were going to do this and what it might cost. And over the next couple of years, we came up with plans for the facility and started to put a budget around that and develop capital campaign goals. And in 2012, we were uh, received uh, a founding gift from the Ted and, and Jane Von Voigtlander Foundation. And that really kicked the project off. It gave us the resources to take the next steps. It created confidence in the community that this idea had merit and needed to happen. And we, we built on that and carried that forward. Uh, and in 2013, we had many other stakeholders come forward and, and make commitments. And, um, and we are now at 2014, and this year has been a whirlwind. We've uh, hired a contractor. We've authorized construction to start. We took the most ever campers from Michigan to other serious fun camps in other states uh, this summer. We had a very successful gala, and now we're here today uh, to, to celebrate breaking ground and beginning construction on our facility. And again, I thank all of you for your role in, in making that happen, and, and I hope that you'll follow our journey as we uh, work to get all of the bricks and all of the sticks in place to uh, open camp in the fall. Camp changes lives, and it changes lives for everybody who comes to camp. Of course it does for the campers, but it does for volunteers, for donors, for parents. Um, but I think that the camper perspective is really important. And I think that the best way to really get an idea of the impact that, that camp has is to hear from one of our campers who's spent multiple years in our Camp on the Move program. And so, Jenna, I'm honored to have you come up and, and share some insights about the impact camp has had for you. Um, when I was asked to speak at this groundbreaking ceremony, I was really excited because camp means so much to me. For the past four summers, I've flown down to Victory Junction in Randleman, North Carolina as a part of the Camp on the Move program here at North Star Reach. I went to camp with kids with heart and lung diseases because I was born with six heart birth defects and have had two open heart surgeries. The four weeks that I have spent ha at Victory Junction have completely changed my life. Before I went to camp, I was shy and embarrassed of my scar and disease. Camp has made me so much more confident and taught me that my disease makes me unique. I am no longer ashamed of my scar. Camp has shown me that I am not the only one with a scar. I realized this the first time I was in the pool at Victory Junction. I looked around and saw that instead of being the only one with a scar in my chest, almost every camper had a scar. At camp, I have been blessed to make many lifelong friends. The friendships that I have made are a very great support system. Last summer, one of my best friends from the Camp on the Move program had heart surgery. I was able to be there for her and even visit her in the hospital. Two more of my friends are having heart surgery this week, and I hope to provide that same support for them. Even having one of my best friends from Camp Marie here with me gives me so much confidence and support. <laughs> because most of the people I've met through camp live in North Carolina, I'm not able to see them become even closer with them. Having North Star Reach here will provide kids with the support system and friendships that will last a lifetime. There's nothing like a camp friend. We all have such a special bond because of everything we have been through. I will be too old to attend North Star Reach as a camper, but I hope to be a counselor so I can give back to the, and to the people who have changed my life and be a part of the camp magic. Having North Star Reach here will allow so many more lives to be changed. I'm so excited for other kids to be able to experience the magic of camp. Um, by supporting North Star Reach, you are not just supporting the buildings and the land, you are supporting changing the lives of kids with medical challenges. This is why the groundbreaking is so important to me. Thank you, Jenna. 
as you heard, camp is a magical place. And of course, we would like to be at camp today and celebrating our groundbreaking there. Unfortunately, we wouldn't fit. The road's not really passable. Um, it's, uh, it's getting ready and gearing up for construction. So we certainly hope that for those of you who have not had a chance to see it, that uh, you'll come back in a year when we open camp. And certainly we'll want everyone there to, to be a part of that. We do have a special friend who made a trip out to camp and she, we have a video message from her. And so if you turn to the video monitors, you'll, you'll see a, a clip from Gwen Haggerty Bearden, the president of the Von Voigtlander Foundation. I'm Gwen Haggerty Bearden and I'm here to help break ground for North Star Reach Camp. No dirt was injured in the filming of that uh, segment. So I, I think that uh, actually Gwen might be here uh, with, a, with a special message for us uh, about camp. Is, I, I, think I, see her, I think I see her driving up now. Gwen has been a, a champion for this project from from the very start, and and we're thrilled to hear some insights from her. You will need this. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was able to go to camp, and I enjoyed it. I was asked to come up here and share just a few words on why we're involved with this camp. Um, why not? Um, there are so many different reasons, but I will just share one with you. A few years ago, Patrick asked me to be a chaperone for Camp on the Move, so I got to be, I got to stay in a hotel by Metro, and as Sherry Mark will attest, we got up very early one morning, 3.30, 4 o'clock, went down to the lobby. I was dragging. The kids were not. They were so excited. They were laughing, joking. They were so cute. Um, their enthusiasm was contagious. So, went to camp in Connecticut, hole in the wall, flew with the kids, and um, you just cannot visit that camp without knowing why we're doing this today. So, to make it easy, I just get to read a letter. I received a copy of a letter dated June 2012 that was addressed to Patrick Smith, and this is what it said. Dear Patrick Smith, Camp Director Extraordinaire, thank you for having my grandson, Mercutio, as a part of your camper program. Mercutio had a lot of fun as your camper along with the staff. We are so thrilled with how my grandson looked when he came back from camp. Mercutio has talked about how nice the staff was and how much he enjoyed the activities that were provided, fishing, hiking, camping, climbing, but most of all, his Mercutio has put on some pounds. He gained five pounds in one week, and that's excellent. His doctors have been wanting him to gain weight, but it only took one week at camp to gain five pounds. 
So thank you so much for everything, and thank you, Patrick, and to all the staff that put this together to make it happen and put smiles on the children during their sick time. And thank you, Doug. Today, Mercutio is very happy, and he has more confidence, looks good, and all this he can talk about is how he wants to come back next year to camp. He talks more like a young man and communicates better with us. This means so much to me for him to be more independent. Sincerely, Connie, his grandma. And that is why. I would also now like to thank Brian and Tiffany Rooney for being the campaign co-chairs of the campaign leadership committee. And come on up, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, Gwen. That was awesome seeing you with that heavy machinery there. Way to go. I, I just want to share briefly uh, before I get into my script, you know, that Tiffany couldn't be here, but she sends along her congratulations. Our son Blaze got sick last night, but one of the reasons why we're involved is because of my son Blaze. He's had uh, three open heart surgeries and he's had epilepsy and cerebral palsy. And as a camper, Growing up myself, I went to camp for seven years at, in Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. My two older children, I've always thought about going to camp, but I never thought it'd be possible for my son Blaze until I learned about North Star Reach. So I'm very excited for the opportunity for my son Blaze to be able to go to this camp and other campers like him. With that, I'd like to announce that everybody here and people that aren't here have worked very hard to get to this point. And we've had a goal for a very long time to raise $26.2 million. Right now we're at $21 million, a little over $21 million. So we're very close to our campaign goal. We've raised enough money, obviously, to break ground and start construction. So that is a, a great achievement, and we're looking forward to finishing out this campaign and getting on to yearly uh, sustainability projects. So I'd like to actually just everyone congratulate yourselves for being part of that and raising so much money and those sorts of things. So way to go, everybody. I'd also like to uh, take a moment to shout out to our newest group of uh, campaign volunteers. These are known as fire starters. And if you are a fire starter, I want to thank you. And if you could raise your hand, I want to uh, acknowledge you and thank you for helping us get to the final stage of our campaign. So if we have any fire starters, if you could raise your hand, I'd... All right. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce special guests to unveil the camp designs. We're excited to share what camp will look like. Our dream is becoming a reality. And I can tell you, just seeing the video that Gwen was in, the first time I went to camp, you know, it was basically a forest. And to see all that dirt moved and everything is really impressive. So without further ado, I'd like to uh, bring some special campers up here to the stage to join with me on the stage here. If you could spread over and um, don't reveal the things, the placards yet. Hello. Well, first I have to say hello. It's good seeing you again. All right, I want everyone to introduce themselves and say what um, their favorite area of what they look forward to at camp or what their favorite camp activity will be or has been. Um, well, I'm obviously a former camper. My name's Laura Jackson. I went there um, three years after I broke my neck. Um, the best part about camp was being able to do things that I thought I would not be able to do again after I broke my neck, you know, and, and it gave me the encouragement to do things outside of my realm of what I thought was my new life. And, um, you know, since then, I've met Doug, and, and he's come up with this amazing idea to really provide uh, all-inclusive, pretty much, camp for 
kids with disabilities and kids like me and and since then I've been just so passionate about getting involved and I want to say thank you all for coming here and and donating and just being a part of this. Thank you, Ben. Okay, I'm I'm Ben Van Dyken and I'm a f- camper. Um, at least my favorite thing was just making new friends and like we're so close, I guess. Like what Janice had in her thing, like we have a special bond since we've all had problems and we got through them. Um, my name is Mike, and my favorite part of camp is making new friends and swimming. My name is Andrew. Uh, my uh, my favorite part is rock climbing and making new friends at camp. That's awesome, Andrew. Thank you. My name is Jacob, and I like the campfires. My name is Angelina Hamblin, and I like making new friends and doing archery. My name's Alyssa, and I like making new friends. My name's Elise, and I like swimming. My name is Leah. I really like Chidato. My name's Faith, and my favorite part of camp is going to be, I think, making new friends that are going to be like me. My name's Marie, and my favorite, Marie McGuire, and my favorite part at camp is the camp magic. All right, that's great. And we're going to turn these placards around, and if everybody could count down, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. All right. As you can see on the monitors and from the placards, Ben's holding the new dining hall. Uh, the back of the dining hall, Mike's got a picture of that. Um, we have the health center that um, makes the camp possible for kids to go to. That's you know, going to be something to make parents like myself very comfortable in sending our kids to camp. The cabins, we have the uh, amphitheater. The sports and activity center with the pool that all, some of the kids shared that, that that's going to be their most exciting thing to do. Arts and crafts. The waterfront pavilion. It's the waterfront there is spectacular. The administration building and the staff bunkhouse. So thank you all very, very, very much. Okay, kids, you can uh, go back to your seats. Appreciate it. Thank you for helping us today as future campers and previous campers. You know, I really I like to comment on one of the things that kids say. Well, my favorite part of camp was making friends, and uh, it's great to hear that that's what most of the kids there is looking forward to making friends, friends like them. Uh, Now it's a chance to recognize our founders and invite them along with other special guests to the stage. So I believe Steve is going to help me with this. We have labeled fire logs to supporters as uh, to the supporters. We're going to hand them out as they come to the stage. You've already met Gwen. I'm going to ask Gwen to come back to the stage. She's the president again of the Ted and Jane Van Voigtlander Foundation. Lori Dresner is the president of the Dresner Foundation. Tammy Carr is executive director of the Jones Family Foundation. Unfortunately, Jack and Jack, Jake and Jackie Long are unable to celebrate with us. Obviously, Jake is at camp um, right now with the uh, Rams, and so they send their support along. Representing the Longs is Camp on the Move camper Gina Van Loon. And, you know, I want to thank, without them being here, for that incredible gala that they hosted. If any of you went to that, I'm sure most of you did. It was really a great success. 
Paul King is the Executive Director of the University of Michigan C.S. Mott Children's Hospital and the Van Vlander Women's Hospital. Good to see you again, Paul. Thank you for being here. Kelly Elliott, Director of Camp Support Services. Allie Fox, Director of Global Partnership Program at the Serious, both of them at the Serious Fund Children's ne Network. And, and I believe that uh, uh, Allie is a former, is a former Ann Arborite, is that correct? Sure. All right, yeah. welcome home. Yeah. Sean Byrne is a current board chair. You've met him in, re, earlier. Uh, and Sherry Mark, past board chair, North Star Reach. I can one-up Sean in the fact that I'm a recovering lawyer as well, and I'm also a former wannabe politician, so um, I'm trying to reserve my comments to under an hour as well. Okay, and finally, I'd like to invite up uh, our founder and CEO, Doug Armstrong of North Star Reach. Steve Berger is a board member who's been helping handing these things out. When I first came up to the stage, I thought that they forgot to bring the logs in last night, and I thought they were wet, but as sitting there, I could smell that they're wet with kerosene, it seems like. <laughs> so uh, I think when your family might be getting uh, their eyebrows burned off here, so, so be careful. Um, I, I, I believe now we're going to light the uh, ceremonial ca campfire. It's because each and every one of you, the groups that you represent, that we have reached the major, this major milestone. To begin building camp, our founders and invited guests will now ignite our ceremonial campfire. So does everybody know how to light the lighter? <laughs> okay. There's a black button on the back of it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it and then pull the trigger and then everybody come and light the torch. Okay. You guys ready? Everybody come over here. Try not to burn each other. There we go. All right. Thank you, founders and special guests. You may return to your seats after you. All right. Thank you, founders and special guests. You may return to your seats after you lay your ceremonial logs on the fire. Be careful. <laughs> All right, let's give him one more final round of applause. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to thank each of you for coming to celebrate with us today. You are our guiding light, our North Star. Before we conclude with our final activity, please help me thank the Polo Fields for their wonderful hospitality and refreshments. Also, the camp displays will be located on the patio if you want a closer look. We hope you join us once again next fall when we celebrate the grand opening of camp. To conclude our celebration program, you'll be invited by Rose to come forward and place your personal wish chips they received on your way in into the ceremonial ring of fire, and please be careful. Not to worry if you didn't pick up the wish chip and on your way in, there's plenty of time to do that before you leave. Uh, once again, we want to thank all of you for sharing this moment with us. Campers, please excuse those in the first rows, and as the campers excuse you, you can throw your wish chips on the wish fire. Thank you all very, very much. 
This concludes our program.